I start today with greetings. Greetings to the graduates, to the parents, to the teachers, and to the guests. Today is a very important day for the graduates, and it was an important day for me when I was in your shoes 61 and a half years ago, because I too was a graduate of Hunter College High School. This is an important day to look back at the last four years of your high school training. You look back and think about the academics. You think about all the papers you wrote for your English class and your foreign language study and your math and science classes. And you look forward and back to your personal growth and to the changing world that took place during these four years. And this is the time also that you're looking forward to the future. Because most of you will likely go to college. You will be in a new place, in a new environment, with new friends, new studies, and facing a new world. A new world with many problems. Right now we see economic problems in the forefront of the horizon. But then there are long-term problems, too, in acquiring sustainable energy for the population of a whole planet. And there are problems of health and then of keeping peace to go across all the nations of our planet. So these are the kinds of problems you will be working on as you enter your new life. It is particularly uh, a wonderful for me to have this distinguished graduate uh, award because it was Hunter College High School that changed my life. And let me say a few words about that. As you know, New York City has both the worst schools in the country, or at least among the worst schools in the country, and it also has the best schools, and Hunter College High School, of course, is one of those. In my time, it was the only school, special schools, available for girls. And today, there are more options. But this was the only one available to me, and it was a great one. At that time, there were three options open to women for careers. One was teaching, another one was nursing, and the third was uh, secretarial work. Well, the only one of those three that really appealed to me was teaching, so I went to Hunter College to become a school teacher. And it was there that I most appreciated the wonderful training I had in the high school. This was the place where the academics were wonderful, and they uh, pr uh, provided me with the ability to take both uh, uh, the required teaching courses that one has to enter an, a teaching career, but also to study science and mathematics. And that was uh, uh, really what became my central focus and led to my lifelong career in, in physics research and teaching. So uh, what was it about Hunter High that was so special? What did I take from my four years there? Well, one was the academics. The ap academics were first class. Of course, when I started, I was kind of behind coming from a poor school. But um, toward the end, of course, I was uh, in the top of my class and enjoying every, every, every minute of my high school uh, days. Another thing I learned at Hunter High was self-study, and that has stayed with me my whole life. That's an important thing. A third thing that I learned was the importance of ser serving society. I had received such a wonderful education in the high school that prepared me for so many things, and this was all free, and this is my obligation in life to pay back for that and also to become a leader in my academic field, which I have tried to do. 
So these are some of the things I remember from Hunter High, and I remember the, the friends I made there. These are people that I encountered hither and yon as I made my life moving from one place to another. Here and there I bumped into another Hunter High graduate, somebody I even knew from my days back there. So I'd like to sort of end my comments uh, with encouragement to the graduate student, the graduates of the class of 2009. I received this encouragement when I graduated from the high school. And it reminds me all the time of the wonderful time I had there and all that I benefited from my years at Hunter High. So my advice to you is to go into whatever interests you most. Pursue your, your interests. It is wonderful to have a career where every morning when you get up, this is really what I want to do. Very few people in the world enjoy their work as much as I do. Or at least that's what it seems like to me. And it's good to be in that situation. And I strongly recommend it for all of you. So think big and think broadly. The world is the limit, the sky is the limit. You can do anything that you put your, set your mind to do. It's important to th look for things that will have impact on the world, because I think that brings you satisfaction. And the end, what's important is to be happy and to be satisfied, fully satisfied with, with what you do every day. And with that, I end my remarks. Thank you very much for this recognition and opportunity to talk to you.